Does this position here look like yours? Collapse at the top of your swing, the club's almost hitting you in the shoulder. What's going on? Well, I'm here to tell you that actually the answer to that could be in turning your hips. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV, and I see this position a lot. And this might be you if you're watching this video, is a collapsed right arm or trail arm, collapsed elbow at the top of the swing, and the club head way down there, all right, looking almost like it's just a super long swing, but yet, you got no distance and you got no power. So here's what you gotta understand, is in order for me to get this golf ball to travel out there in this driving range with a seven iron, 140, 50, 60, 70 yards, I gotta have some length in my backswing. And what a lot of you are doing if you have a collapsed backswing is you're actually restricting the turn of your body and then you're trying to make it up by collapsing the arms. Looks like this. Let me just show you and I'm gonna talk to you and teach you what the fix to this is. So here you go. Let's say you got a pretty good setup, all right, and your swing looks like this. You can see it, long, loose, and collapsed. Now, what could be causing that? Well, in my experience, as somebody who's been lucky enough to teach this game for over 25 years, especially for my older golfers, you know who you are out there, my experienced golfers, you do this because you have lack of mobility. You can't turn your body like you used to turn it, all right? But you can actually help yourself out and fix this by turning other things. So, if I know I wanna get the club up here on the backswing in order to get the ball to travel, if I don't turn my body at all, my hips, my shoulders, my chest, the only way to get it there is to collapse. However, if I release my trail leg, if I turn my hips, if I rotate my shoulders, now I've got enough mobility, even if I don't have a ton of flexibility, I've got mobility, now I can get the club up there and not collapse my shoulders. Let me hit a shot. Let me hit a shot and just show you how it is, and I'll give you a couple checkpoints. So here we go. I'm gonna turn my hips, I'm gonna turn my shoulders, and I'm gonna keep my hands nice and high. Oh yeah, way better. Way further, better rhythm, better tempo. So let's talk about how we can get in that position. And do, let's do this real quick, if you could, Right now, hit that subscribe button. Do me a favor. If you like the content that you're hearing from us here at US Golf TV, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and do me a favor. Leave a comment. Good, bad, indifferent, leave a comment because I love answering and hearing from you. So, the key here to not collapse in the back swing is to have body turn. How do we get body turn? Well, we got to turn our hips. Okay, you got to turn your hips. How do you turn your hips? You let your trail leg release a little bit. Trail leg releases. That allows us to turn the hips, which allows us to turn the shoulders and get the hands nice and high. Now, I keep using the word high hands, all right? Because I find that when I give that cue, golf instruction is all about a cue. I say a particular word. It gives the student a particular feel. I repeat that word to repeat that feel. And we start running that cycle. High hands is a great cue to keep you from collapsing. So I'm gonna hit a shot, and that's my cue. Here we go. I want you to try this at the driving range. Let me know how it goes. Turn the hip, high hands. That's our feel. Here we go. Hip turn, high hands. I like that. Now, why do I want your hands to be high? Two reasons. Number one, it's gonna give you more length. Okay, gonna give you more length to your backswing. Also, believe it or not, it's gonna give you more club head speed. When your hands are low, you can create speed, but it's a lot harder because it requires a lot more rotation. When your hands are high, you can use gravity, you can let them drop, you can let them flow, you can hit better quality golf shots. So, if your backswing is collapsing because you need length of swing, don't think about this first. Think about this. Release the hip, turn the hip, turn the shoulders, High hands is your cue. You do those couple of things, you'll get rid of that collapsed backswing, and you, my friend, will start hitting the golf ball further with better contact.